Hey folks, it's Harry from Seven Daily Barbecue again. Today we're gonna to do a little experiment using our cowboy ribeye steaks. We usually cook a cowboy ribeye steak with a smoke followed by a sear to get beautiful grill marks. But today we're gonna to do one the normal way. We're also gonna do the second one using what I call the, the WTF way. We're gonna cook the second cowboy steak like a brisket. We're gonna smoke it until the crust sets. We're gonna apply a little bit of beef mop, wrap it like a brisket and cook it until it's 210 degrees. So that's almost like blasphemy, but we're gonna do a test today using my beef rub and then cooking two cowboy ribeye steaks. Using some jealous devil charcoal. I'm gonna put some good chunks at the bottom here. We've got a combination of hickory and pecan and apple. Just three kinds of wood here. And you notice that the wood always goes first. You never put the wood on top because the wood will burn and not create the right kind of smoke. The magic of barbecue is done by smoldering wood, which needs to be put underneath all the coals. Alright, loading up the charcoal here using jealous devil charcoal. <laughs> Nice 35 pound bag from uh, Amazon. Lasts you a long time. Spread the uh, charcoal out and make sure that the uh, wood is underneath the coals, not on top. We have paraffin cubes in here. Like so, We're ready to go. Lighting up. So for a fast way to light, uh, go ahead and use these lighter cubes and uh, they are very convenient. And the nice thing about this is uh, you can actually travel on an airplane with them without causing any problems. You can bring uh, charcoal with you but you can bring lighter cubes. I like to use a hardwood charcoal Jealous Devil. This is an axe hardwood that is really great for barbecue. It creates a beautiful amount of smoke, not too much, not too little. Bird is really clean and hot. Once I add my wood chunks, it gives a perfect combination of competition flavor, which I love. These are available on Amazon. I think the bag is about 35 pounds and you, it includes shipping. So go check out the link in the uh, show more comments below if you're interested in trying this great tasting charcoal. Here's a little tip for you, Weber Smoky Mountain fans. When I start up my pit and I want a pit to start up faster, I uh, just prop the lid open with a piece of wood or a pebble that will allow the fire to start a lot faster, the pit to breathe better, so you can get the cooking faster. Also, here's a little tip. Uh, I like to wrap a little paper towel around the handle because it gets, kind of gets grungy after a while. So this paper towel can be easily removed and replaced with a new one once it gets kind of grungy. <laughs> Step it daddy rub, pat it down, you never rub a rub. Flip it over, repeat on the other side, gorgeous ribeye steak. So the uh, ribeye steak has ribeye here and then spinalis dorsi, which is this part here. This is the really, really good eating part of the ribeye. In the SCA, Steak Cookers Association contest, this is the part the judges will eat. This part is cut in half to show the beautiful pink medium center. So I season the first steak now. I'm gonna get some of the age here on the fat also. Some of my moolah beef rub. My moolah beef rub has a lot of special ingredients including a powdered shiitake mushroom for, for umami. It's got a maple sugar, it's got a powdered Worcestershire and a little bit of celery seed for smoke ring. We'll do the second one now. You have to shake the rub a little higher, maybe about a foot higher so that it, it falls evenly. And then you shake the rub bottle when you apply so that it's loose. A few shakes, you shake it again to loosen it up. So these are all black belt techniques that competition pit masters and grand champion pit masters use to apply seasonings evenly to the meat itself. Now these two cowboy style steaks are ready to go. Some of you may ask me what the hell is the difference between a cowboy steak and a tomahawk steak? Well, the answer has to do with not the size of the steak, but actually the size of the bone. So this is from the rib bone of the cow 
if they cut it off at about say a foot long right here it is typically known as a cowboy steak even though some people call it a tomahawk but it's technically a cowboy steak some cowboy steaks are cut kind of here also a little shorter but this one is a semi half cowboy half tomahawk a tomahawk steak you watched a video from my alaskan anchorage trip the tomahawk steak usually has a longer bone so the bones comes up to about this much more so that would really make it kind of a tomahawk because you can pick up like an axe and then hit somebody with it. That's why it's called tomahawk. The ones with the bones cut a little shorter are called cowboy steaks. But regardless, the bone is just more for display. It has no useful purpose except for presentation. I'll show you how we plate this with the bone as the backdrop later once we finish cooking the steaks and we slice it for tasting. We're going to put one of the cowboy cut ribeyes in the smoker now and cook it like a brisket. Pebble now that is come up to temp. I'm going to get it around 250 degrees, 275 degrees ish. Ready to go. Checking for tenderness here. 122 degrees, coming nicely. I'm going to flip it over. Create the crust on the other side. Being very good. Crusting up. I should be able to wrap it in a little bit. We're running rock solid at uh, around 275. Let's check on the uh, Okay, bye. Temperature is coming up to 137. The crust is absolutely gorgeous. I should be ready to wrap in about maybe another 10 minutes. Okay, the crust has set. I can tell because when I do the scratch test, the rub doesn't come on my fingernail. Temperature is about 143 degrees. And we're gonna wrap it in foil now, like a brisket, put some beef mop on it, treat it like a brisket while we cook the other piece, the traditional way to medium rare. The beef broth as he was cooking a brisket right on the meat itself. It's about 145, 150 degrees. So we're gonna cook this particular cowboy ribeye just like a brisket. There you have it. Wrapped cowboy steak, ribeye. Cooked like a brisket. Putting the first piece, which is cooked like a brisket, back on the pit to try to get it to internal temperature about 208, 215 degrees. I'm ready now to cook the other piece the normal way, which is to do a nice smoke followed by a sear. And when the two are ready, we'll do a taste test to find out which one tastes better. I know you're thinking WTF. What the hell is Harry doing cooking a beautiful cowboy Angus ribeye like a brisket? Well, sometimes in life, right? There are things that you shouldn't, but you can. So this is one of those days where I'm going to try it out and see which one tastes better because if you don't try, you won't know. 115-ish. Okay. Check the other side, please. The middle is not 119, right? But let it go a little higher because I want to sear it. All right, so this is the brisket style. It's still pretty hard. Okay, I'll wait to 208. So we're going to shoot it to 208, cooking like a brisket. First time cooking a beautiful Angus cowboy steak into that temperature. Okay, we're ready to convert our Weber Smoky Mountain now into a searing system. I'm going to, first of all, remove the barrel here. here another warm up so here's how you convert your Weber Smoky Mountain 22 into a grilling station you remove the uh, barrel the lid and then you position your grill grates on top of the 
top grate here, wait for it to heat up. And we're gonna create some beautiful pineapple glue marks on the steaks. So here's the brisket that we cooked until 200 over degrees. And we're gonna sear it now and compare it against the cowboy steak cooked to medium rare. So we're gonna sear it now, see what happens. The one on the right is the one cooked uh, the traditional smoke followed by the sear. The right hand side one was the one cooked to 200 degrees. All right, we're ready to do a flip here. Flip it to 10 o'clock position. We put it on at the 2 o'clock position. We wait about a minute and we flip it over to the 2 o'clock position. After another minute, we'll X flip it over to the 10 o'clock position. The final flip here. Beautiful pineapple grill marks here. Okay. And these are ready to come off. And when you're done, you can go ahead and uh, extinguish the fire, putting the lid back on, and let it calm down. Get all the coals burnt out before you clean up and put the ash away. So we cook the cowboy steaks two ways. This one cooked like a brisket. Cook it until the crust set. Cover it in foil with some mop. Cook it until about 210 degrees. It's kind of hard. Uh, but on this one here, it's medium rare. So I'm gonna cut it open, let my guest sample. So this is how you serve a tomahawk steak. This way. Mm. Oh my God. And then you slice it this way. Beautifully beautiful beef perfection. Cook to over 200 degrees like a brisket. And then even the uh, spinal, spinalis dorsi, which is the rib cap, is all kind of falling apart. But I'm going to do my best to slice it. Is that a smoke ring? That is a, definitely a smoke ring, yes. Alright, so we have a smoke ring version of a Angus ribeye. And uh, this one does not have a smoke ring, cooked medium rare. Everybody, attack! <laughs> Tell me what you think. My buddies Kevin and Mark will be tasting them together with my sweetheart Donna. This is the one that's cooked uh, like a brisket for five hours. Gorgeous smoke ring. Steak good? Steak, yeah. Steak is much better, right? I haven't tried both of them. Alright, let me try this one here. So pull and dip it in that. <laughs> yeah, just, dip, just dip, it, dip it in this sauce here. That's some good steak. Mm -hmm. Melts your mouth. Mm -hmm. Perfect amount of saltiness. Yeah, yeah, it's okay to say what you like. Yeah. So, I prefer uh, traditional cooked steak. Yeah. All right. This, 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 this is what, what steak is supposed to taste like. Taste like, like right? Well, let me try this one here. Which That's is, terrible. This is terrible. It's, it's terrible. hard. It's gorgeous though. So, it's a fail. <clears throat> so, like I said, not everything I do is successful. Beautiful smoke ring, right? Looks like, looks like brisket. Yeah. It's but, dry. But flavor is like terrible. And dry. It's dry. It's dry. So, didn't work. So, folks, stick to the basics here. Do a smoke and a sear. Smoke it to 110 degrees using your favorite wood and then char it on the grill until you get about medium rare, 138, 135. Let it rest a little bit and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So there you have it. My shootout between the WTF cowboy steak cooked like a brisket versus the traditional way. Traditional way wins. So I learned, I learned a lesson today. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.